I wouldn't buy an electric car. They don't, they don't really travel far enough. That's probably a bit premature for me. But ultimately, it's because they're, they're very, very expensive. Why is there a 28% decline in their second-hand value? The US top 10 battery-powered vehicles, which included Tesla, General Motors and Ford models, were among them. Let's take a deep look at this scenario. Where should we start? Okay, so here's a brief intro about electric vehicles. We all know that the global population is ever expanding and an innovative and more effective mode of transportation would be the electric vehicle. These are safer and more convenient to use than fuel combustion engines, which is the primary reason why consumers prefer electric cars over traditional engines. Not just that it produces no exhaust emissions, which lowers air pollution, electric cars can be powered by two renewable energy sources, solar and wind. Electric cars are the way of the future. Every year they get more and more economical, and the concept of charging them rather than filling them up is starting to gain traction. 71% of American drivers stated in a recent survey that they'd think about purchasing an electric vehicle in the future. Of those surveyed, one third claimed that they'd purchase an electric vehicle as the next purchase. But the question is, would they buy a used EV? Lithium ion battery packs power the majority of electric vehicles, although news reports frequently highlight promising prototypes of new battery chemistry. We might be wondering about what would be the durability of a used EV. The easiest method to determine a battery pack's anticipated lifespan is to look at the promises made by the makers. For EV battery packs, all automakers presently provide a minimum of an 8-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Tesla offers an 8-year battery warranty with coverage ranging from 100,000 to 150,000 miles, depending on the car model and range, and it differs for different industries. We haven't had enough experience with electric cars to make an informed assessment of how long their battery will last. Because of this, you might not be aware of the charging history of a pre-owned electric car or how it's affected the battery if you purchase one. Remember that purchasing a replacement battery for the used EV won't be an inexpensive endeavour. The component that most affects an electric vehicle's overall cost is the battery. According to the US Department of Energy, modern EV batteries should outlast their warranties by a significant margin. In temperate conditions, these packs can have a service life of 12 to 15 years. If you frequently operate your EV in harsher environments, figure on a service life of 8 to 12 years. The average age of all passenger cars in the United States as of 2023 is 12 and a half years old, which means the condition of the EV's battery may never even be taken into account. If you're a nature lover, then EVs are better for the environment than fossil fuel powered cars because they don't release greenhouse gas emissions from their exhaust. So if that's the case, isn't it an added advantage of purchasing a used electric car which contributes to environmental conservation even more than purchasing a new one, since electric cars have a slightly higher carbon footprint at construction. Their intricacy is the reason behind this, however after 6 to 18 months of driving, electric vehicles offset their higher carbon emissions during production and continue to perform better than ordinary automobiles until the end of their useful lives. Not just that, when compared to their traditional fuel powered equivalents, electric vehicles have a substantially cheaper cost of ownership. You don't have to be concerned about rising fuel costs if you drive an electric vehicle. Additionally, because EVs have fewer moving parts than ICE cars, they require less frequent maintenance. Because the used EVs have fewer miles on their odometer, their suspension, tyres and brakes will be in better condition. We shouldn't just base our decisions solely on the battery life and environmental benefits. Before considering a used electric vehicle, there are a few more things to consider like maintenance and safety for your EV, battery wellness, advancement in technology, resale value, etc. Usually, reduced battery performance can be seen in used EVs. The electric motor and battery work together to create the heart of an electric vehicle just as the internal combustion engine does in a conventional car, just as you can reject a used car if its engine isn't operating correctly or isn't getting enough mileage. You can also do this with used electric vehicles if the battery life has decreased. The range and performance of electric car batteries deteriorate with age. The performance of an electric vehicle is affected by driving in high temperatures, charging to full capacity and draining battery power to a low voltage. As time passes by, there's also the risk of outdated technology. As time goes by, electric vehicle technology continues to advance. You have to accept that an old electric car will have antiquated technology if you intend to purchase one. Although conventional fossil fuel vehicles also experience technological obsolescence, the impact on electric vehicles is greater due to the swift advancements in battery performance and range. One of the most important measures of a car's attractiveness is its resale value, which represents the price a used car buyer is ready to pay. The depreciation rate of an electric vehicle is higher than that of a fossil fuel vehicle. This implies that you'll be able to get the used EV for less money, but when the time comes to sell it, you shouldn't expect to get much of a return because its depreciation will have already increased. 
According to a survey, used EV values declined in the US and also in the UK by almost 5%, far more than the market as a whole, where resale values decreased by only 3.7%, according to the bank that cited auto trader statistics. The bank's analyst, Mike Tindall, predicted that EV pricing is likely only to get tougher in 2024, and cautioned that the elimination of subsidies in nations like France and Germany may force car makers to get aggressive on pricing. He continued by saying that automakers will probably have to reduce the small profit margin they have in EVs to avoid being undercut by new, less expensive models coming from China. It's challenging to concentrate solely on profitability since doing so puts market shares at risk from EV native new competitors who will continue to pursue market shares at a high price. New EVs will be somewhat more expensive than petrol or diesel vehicles, which are anticipated to lose less value over the same time span due to battery cars and lower resale prices. The figure is crucial for determining lease pricing since it determines how much a driver will finance based on how much a car loses over the course of a three-year lease. A higher requirement for funding will result from the larger value loss. In Europe, leases account for about 60% of new car purchases. In other markets like the UK, this number rises to over 90%. Few people are aware that the resale value of electric vehicles rises by roughly 5% for every 10 miles of range. Assume that a used electric vehicle with a 250 mile range is worth $50,000. With a 300 mile range, that same EV may fetch up to $64,000 when it's sold. This is obviously a hypothetical example. But the resale value of an electric car can be raised by numerous variables. Every vehicle experiences depreciation, therefore you can determine the resale value of an electric car by figuring out how much it's depreciated over the course of your ownership. According to CNBC, after three years, EVs retain 63% of their value, while gasoline-powered cars retain 66%. In a poll, a common person was asked if he'd purchase a used electric vehicle. He answered, no chance. We're still in the very early stages of EVs and manufacturers are taking big leaps ahead every year in terms of technology. Reliability too, since it's a big learning curve for OEMs, supply chains and workshops. V1 EVs of all brands suffer niggles and issues. He further continued that What's worse is, hardly any independent garage has the knowledge or equipment to fix EVs. And where will you get the parts? Brand new Tata EVs spend months in the workshop waiting for critical parts. A Canadian dude has been waiting for a year for a battery for his old Leaf. For a couple of years at least, I'd only buy brand new EVs. When we have good new EVs in the 10 to 20 LAKH range, I don't see any need for used EVs. If on a small budget, get a petrol car. The global market for EVs has increased by 40% over the past two years because more and more varieties of affordable electric cars are becoming available. Electric cars are becoming popular in the era of automation and contemporary technology. Myths and opinions about electric vehicles may arise from their growing use and greater registration rates as compared to conventional engine vehicles. Therefore, based on the arguments above, switching to a used EV might be a partially wise decision. So, hope you all got good insight about knowing whether used cheap EVs are a scam or not. Share these views with your friends who are crazy about automobiles. Can you spot a bell icon? Please subscribe for more such interesting updates. Also, like and don't forget to comment below whether you'd give it a go for a used EV. See you all next time, take care.